Does your sitting position at the office matters? Yes, it does. For those that like to set up their table in a way that when they sit, their back faces the door, it's not quite good. There is this belief in China which is known as Feng Shui, which states that the outcome of your life may be affected negatively or positively if your sitting position is not facing the door. Therefore, if you are arranging your sitting arrangement in your workspace at home or setting up your work table at the office, make sure you always sit facing the door. You might be confused. Yes, but this is real because there are lots of testimonies from people who have testified that sitting and not facing the door has had adverse negative effect in their life. But here are some few logical reasons why you should sit facing the door. The first point is, when you sit facing the door, you are able to understand and see whatever that is happening behind you. But if you sit with your back facing the door, you wouldn't see what is going on and you wouldn't know what's happening. The second logical point as to why you should sit facing the door is that when you do this, you avoid people uh, making you afraid, scaring you. Because if you sit with your back facing the door and someone comes in, you are unable to see this person coming in. And if the person takes you by surprise, you might be startled. And when you're startled, it's not good for your well-being, especially with those that have uh, underlying heart issues. Each time you are afraid, you become excited. It's not good for your health. Therefore, always arrange your sitting position in a way that it faces the door. And for those working at the office, we are thinking of uh, your workspace here at the office. If you're setting up your sitting position, your table and chair, there are a few reasons why you must have that table and chair facing the door. The first thing is when you do that, you avoid your colleagues or staff disrespecting you because nobody can look at you in the eyes and show you disrespect, no. But if you're sitting with your back facing the door, you give your fellow staff the opportunity to disrespect you in whatever way that they can. And the fourth aspect as to why you should sit facing the door at the office is that when you do that, you tend to avoid office politics. Yeah, People wouldn't be able to raise any topic that might disrespect your personality, especially for those that hold executive office or executive position at the office. You have to be able to sit facing the door because this shows that you are in control and your subordinates wouldn't be able to gossip or bring up any political issue or personal stuff that might affect you and of course the last point which is a fifth point as to why you should sit facing the door is that it avoids any potential backstabbing yeah your colleagues will find it much more easier to backstab you if you're sitting with your back facing the door but if you're sitting with your face or towards the door direction, they wouldn't have that opportunity to backstab or say anything negative about you. So there you go. These five points explains why you should sit at all time facing the door. Avoid setting your workspace in a way that your back is facing the door because this might not be good. Uh, there are people that believe in superstition. Whatever the case, it's logical that you sit facing the door. I hope this helps and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next topic which I won't review yet. I love you all and please hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.